you have to find a thought and maintain it for 17 seconds so let's do that here now in this environment it's a little bit like waking up and being in vibrational alignment you've listened to us a little bit gave a powerful opening that is in perfect vibrational alignment with the source within you you resonated with the source within you it's why you lighted up for us it's why we thought it was a good idea to bring you here fast because you were tuned in because we distracted you till you got your paper out we distracted <laughs> I'll throw it away <laughs> we distracted you from the vibrational frequency so this is a good environment for you to practice the vibration of what you're looking for so it's like you've just awakened and let's pretend it's not such a pretending let's acknowledge let's assume that you've just awakened you are in that high-flying place because there's been a suspension of momentum while you sleep and now it's your intention to maintain that vibration alignment do you think the best idea is to take the issue that matters more to you than everything else put together and contemplate that now because if you do it's sure isn't it that you're gonna lose your connection so what we want to convey to you what we want you to, to all hear from us if we can convince you that the connection is what matters and solving that problem isn't if you can hear that because if you can sustain the connection for a little while the problem will evaporate because in the absence of the vibration of it within you it can't continue to be your experience so have we convinced you that what matters is the alignment that that's what matters is the alignment what matters is the alignment what matters is the alignment and the subject doesn't matter now that's hard for you to hear isn't it because you've been working hard you told us you've been working hard you've been trying hard you you try hard to get from where you are to where you want to be and we want you to understand oh and we know it must just be so irritating to hear this you've been wasting your time <laughs> can't get there from there the harder you try the more you practice the vibration of resistance and then the louder you ask but the the more you practice the vibration of resistance so you just have to let the things that you want that haven't been coming go for a while just let them go stop using what you want that you don't have as your excuse to not feel good in order to sort of drive this point home in a way that you can really hear it we've begun speaking about your point of attraction your point of attraction you sort of understand that if you are the creator of your own reality and if law of attraction is responding to your vibration then doesn't it make sense that you're standing with a habit of thought with a pattern of vibration that is being responded to your point of attraction so if you're fearful all the time your point of attraction is very far from what you really want if you're ornery all the time or a lot of the time your point of attraction is different from what you want your emotions are your indicator of what you're doing vibrationally Have you been listening to us long enough to sort of understand what we mean by that you were source energy before you came into this physical body and a part of you came into this body a part of you came into this body but the larger part of you is still non physically focused just deal with that <laughs> humans want to call that your soul or God or God force we want to call it that non-physical eternal part of you that you have sprung forth from but that you're still intricately tied with it's your vibrational nature it's your true vibrational nature so that part of you adores you when you're mad at you you cause a vibrational difference that part of you loves others when you find someone who is despicable loves that word you cause a vibrational variance so when you separate yourself from you by the logical thing that you've chosen that's a vibrational variance but if you practice it long enough then you end up in this sort of habit of vibration so we've been wanting to demonstrate that your point of attraction is like a sort of swirling state of being it's a vibrational disc sort of like the seven dwarves there was Henri well they called him grumpy but same difference and happy 
there was dysfunctional and passive-aggressive <laughs> so Esther's up to about 200 dwarfs now she's having such fun she recognizes them around in herself and others so there are these habits of thought these vibrational habits of thought that represent this sort of vibrational place where you hang out and so if you've been hanging around in hopeful but not believing then that's what the universe leads you to if you're hanging around in despair or discouragement then that's what the universe leads you to let's define what we mean by that's what the universe leads you to it's a better way of saying that that's what you find in the universe that's what you find that's what your point of attraction yields to you so we want you to realize that if you will just choose the disc if you choose the subject that subject chooses the disc think about that I'm gonna think about money despair <laughs> not really could be optimism or could be fantastic journey you know where you're at relative to that when you think about wanting a relationship that you've never known but that you sense is there that you really want and you feel lonely or the absence of it loneliness is in a very different place than joy so we're saying this to you more clearly than we've ever said it before choose the disc by the way it feels not by the subject that you want to place on it that's a good way of saying that isn't it so when we say what are you going to think about your answer if it's a really good answer is anything that keeps me up here oh well are you going to think about the things that are important to you know that would take me down here because the things I really want now we know you know we're playing with you because we see you progressing and having wonderful lives in many regards but you know what we're getting at sometimes the things that matter to you most don't make you feel that good because the vibration that you've practiced isn't one of knowing or expecting every subject is like a big long stick or a little short stick doesn't matter it's a stick a really big long stick that has two ends on it on one end of it is what is wanted and on the other end of it is the absence of what is wanted and so if you pick a subject where you've been practicing what you don't want and you say I'm gonna set a goal about this well then what you've actually said is I'm going to set a goal to practice a thought that's way down here and I'm gonna practice it and I'm gonna try and I'm gonna struggle and I'm gonna proclaim my goodness and I'm gonna keep score of where I am sort of like the things that you were telling us only we're exaggerating it dramatically and life's just gonna keep giving you the same thing so you pick your disc by how you want to feel this morning Esther was in her sleeping room and she could hear some children and parents moving through the hallway with great volume <laughs> and her first thought was they should be quiet people might be sleeping and her next thought was they're really having a good time now which of those thoughts do you think was the best thought for Esther to think they're really having a good time then dad started singing it was awful <laughs> the worst voice ever <laughs> but he was so joyful in his singing and Esther thought that's really a beautiful thing I hope no one ever tells him how bad he is at this <laughs> so she had the potential of going all over the place but because she's been practicing that it's like that's where the thoughts now must be the thought could start out down here because bad singing is bad singing in other words you just you just know the difference don't you so her thought started out here but because she was here her thought just had to join her up here she just couldn't stay down there not that long ago her vibration would have joined her down there now her thought is joining her vibration can you feel the difference that's step four I've sustained my vibration long enough that everything in my universe has to join me where I am or it's gonna bounce right off of me if it's gonna join me it's gonna be where I am I now have creative control of my environment that's step four so, 
So let's just start really generally. So you've just awakened. You've heard everything that we've said. We know that you're internalizing it. The audience is with you. So what do you want to say now that you've awakened? This bed is really comfortable. You are brilliant. <laughs> you are brilliant. The bed is comfortable. What else you want to say? Um, the pillows are really comfortable. Yeah. All four of them. Yeah. Yeah. What else? Um, I feel great. I feel uh, happy. I feel in tune with my body. Yeah. You've got it. You've got it. And, and any thought like that, now stay there for 17 seconds and then another and then another and then another and then another. And then do it tomorrow and the next day and the next day and the next day and the next day and the next day. And before you know it, we won't have, be having a conversation about what's missing in your life. The conversation that we'll be having is you'll say to us or to whoever you're talking to, you know, I just let it go for a while because I realized that the subject that was so important to me had me sort of bound in a frequency that wasn't good to me for me. So I just let it go for a while. I just focused upon the things of my life that felt really good to me. And I did it and did it and did it and did it until more thoughts joined, more thoughts joined. You see, because once you sustain this, even for a little while, the manifestations that start flowing are more good feeling emotions, powerful thoughts moving into your experience. You begin getting impulses that lead you right where you want to be. What Esther is discovering now that she's there so much of the time is that she'll get an impulse to do something that formerly she thought would not have been a very good idea to do it, but she'll do it and then something will unfold that for just a minute she'll think, oh, I'm not sure if that was a very good idea either, but then that will cause a question to be asked within her that will bring a solution and she'll realize, I was just led right down a path from where I am to where I want to be. Because she's heard us say, and you have too, that the source within you knows where you are in relationship with everything you want and knows exactly what the path of least resistance is to get you there but you've got to try a little bit to be on a vibration of least resistance and as you start hanging out in a vibration of less and less and less resistance it's just gonna amaze you at first when you realize how smart non-physical is how caring they are about where you are how much they know about where you are in relationship to where you want to be and they'll just guide you and guide you and guide you and guide you and you know what the best part is the journey is so fun you keep thinking it's the destination that's going to ring your bells the journey rings your bells because in the absence of resistance it's fun here and 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 it's really fun here and it's really fun here and it's really fun here and that was so interesting and I like this so much and before you know it every day of your life is one of just moving into things that are interesting and fun and sometimes challenging which is both interesting and fun you see you don't have to be where you think you want to be in order to be happy you just got to be on the way to where you want to be in order to be happy when you go on vacation, you're going to go here and here and here and here and here and here and you're going to end up back home and you never say, hmm, final destination is home. I'm already there. Why go? Because you know why you're going. You're going for the stimulation. You're going for the life it gives you. You're going for the fun. It's not the end result and there is no end result. There is no ending. Step four has got to tell you that. We've been hanging around on step one, step two, step three for quite a long time. Now we're in step four. Doesn't that let you know it never ends? And there's a five and a six and a seven. Don't worry about it. We're just kidding. <laughs> it's just more of the same. It's just more. Once you get this and you've got this, once you practice this and you are, once you sustain it and you know how to do it, life's just going to yield to you all of the reasons that you said, I'll go forth into this physical experience. Not one of you said, I'll deprive myself in order to really want something. Not one of you said, I'll go forth into a broken world and I'll patch it up. He didn't say that. He said, I'll go forth and I'll figure out what I want and I'll line up with it and I'll feel good. And the wholeness of who I am is going to flow through the specifics of what I'm living. And I'm an eternal being. And I mean to make this moment and this one and this one and this one and this one all that it can be. Really good. Thank you. Good.